new location that's not our car oh very not miami light but new beginnings or new kind of beginnings it's not beginning beginning but get you a man who always opens the door at least a bunch of balls on the floor in my car so for those of you who are probably clearly confused when this comes out you probably know that i'm pregnant you know so we are actually situated in Philadelphia right now. There, Alan and I got together five years ago. We moved in together two years ago, about. So we both had plans, you know. Alan was in management and hospitality, but he originally got. Can you tell, you tell your story? I'm gonna tell your story. <laughs> Tell my story, man. You see if you know my story. I know your story. Alan did management for a while in hospitality, but his degree is actually in aviation management so this is our channel so i just want to start to get you comfortable talking about all that stuff i'm driving he has his private license private pilot private pilot license there we go so he could actually fly a plane if he more than so needed to but alan was always into aviation management that's what his um degree is in so there weren't many opportunities in miami or there were but just know what you want you gotta start low lower it's hard for me to like get into the industry like mm -hmm. to get in i would have to go in as like scrubs a, uh, yeah it's like a yeah. basic agent and no offense to anybody out there that is an agent but it was just like, it would have been a step backwards right like pay wise all of that would have been a step back so i was i was waiting to see if i could get in at the management in a quarter mile turn left onto west gerard avenue Philadelphia was the first place that offered me that opportunity. Mm -hmm. So while Alan was doing his thing and trying to figure out you know, where to go and what opportunities to get, I, as you know, um, modeling in Miami, working on YouTube, um, being a blogger, as well as now developing. So well, I haven't spoken about that on the channels yet, but you know, I have my own thing going on in Miami. Even though we're together, you know, we both have our separate dreams and aspirations. Um, and then about 12 weeks ago, what happened, babe? The night before you went Barbados. Oh, yeah. So before I was going to... <laughs> anyway, so 12 weeks ago, you know, when a man and a woman love each other very much, something happened. I actually didn't know I was pregnant. We found out at six weeks. No, yeah, it was more than that. It was eight weeks. It was almost eight weeks. Almost eight weeks, and I didn't even think I was pregnant. It was the week of Hurricane Irma. If anybody in Miami or just knows about, you know, the timeline of the hurricanes that were going on, and I remember feeling so upset in my stomach, and it wasn't like it was like nauseous, but it was more so a feeling. I don't have acid reflux. When I think of acid reflux, I can only imagine that it feels like like I want to throw up, but it's not coming up, and I feel like there's acid in my throat kind of feeling. It was that kind of thing. And then what I originally thought it was that we had changed the brand of bottle water that we purchased because all these markets were running out of water, and we got this like new brand called Crystal. So I started drinking that, and I was like, is it this brand of water that got me? Because <laughs> I know some waters are more alkaline or acidic. So I'm here thinking my mind, the water got me so upset, but. I didn't realize this either. What happened? Oh. But I was being real miserable. Shh. And I didn't. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm miserable when I'm ready when it kind of thought I was getting my period. I know it's getting a little, like, feisty and worked up. Unreasonable Girls have to understand you. You know where I'm coming from. Nah, man. It was, it was bad, right? That's me. No, tell the people. It was so horrible. Was tell them, tell so I was working on my roommate at the time's car. Dan. And we're working on it at another good friend of mine's house, Philip. Like 40 some minutes from home anyway. This girl, she know I go in there. This this planned like two weeks ago. And like keep reiterating, yo, we go in there next day to work on Dan's car. So Dan drives uh, his rental. We go up there working on the car. She texts me like about nine o'clock when she wakes up saying she ain't feel well. Oh by the way, I've been sleeping this whole week. Like yeah, I wake sleep. up, sleep, get up, yes, and eat, sleep. I was just so fatigued. I had no energy. So she wake up tell me said she ain't feel good. All right, you know, usual, I'm sorry to hear that, babe. Like, you know, what you think it is, you know, give suggestions, yada, yada. So then, that keep going on, like, so, I'm working on a car, I can't be on my phone all day, but she keeps texting me, telling me she ain't feel good. Like, you know, I know what you want me to do, I, I, how much minutes away from you. I did not drive there, I had no car. And 
like the whole point is to get this man car done because we're on a strict timeline. Mm -hmm. Because Philip only has specific days off that we can work on it, and Dan only has specific days off. So we're just like trying to get this car done. So she flips out on me like later on in the evening, about four or five o'clock. Oh, you know I feel good. Why you ain't come home yet? <laughs> Hmm. Because I was like, I would think he would have come home and bring like medicine or something. Because Alan is a very considerate person, but when it comes to like cars, football, and racing, sometimes it's mine is just be elsewhere, and that's the truth. Anyway, You're she like, complaining about. I was being actually myself. Me, me and leaving, but. I was being. How was that one? How was I supposed to leave? Two. She basically telling me say, you know what? Screw dance car. You need to stop. I need to. I was being real miserable. That just to yeah. summarize everything. Like, but I want. Oh no! It was like when we were about to. It got later on in the evening. I we were like, I thought you know, I made an effort to come home early, like knowing I ain't feeling well. Mm -hmm. I was like, I get what you're trying to say, but like what you almost said. Oh, Dan, we can't finish your car today because Zoe ain't feel well. Like we have to go home. We have to stop working right now because I have to go home and take care of. I never was like, you put in that car. Oh, you're sick, woman. Sorry, we had to switch to the iPhone. Sorry, quality so, change. So, I, I get frustrated at this point. And I was like, yo, I'll talk to you when I reach home. Like, I got real upset. Uh -huh. And I like, I try not to snap. I try to, these days I've been trying to keep my cool he's, a, he's lot a lot more. He's a lot calmer. So I was just like, yo, I'll talk to you later rather than snapping on her. So, after this, like, obviously I talk, talk about it with the guys and what they're talking about. Like, yo, this we talk to him about that. And, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, I'm upset. <laughs> We drinking and talking. I was just like, see, see, no that, that was a doing cars chilling, not having a, a, a hey, time. Chilling. You need something to cool down the turbine when you're working on a car. Turbine being your brain. We did. I did. We talking. I was like, this ain't make no sense. This ain't make no damn sense. Then I was driving home, and Miss Kennedy called me actually. The person that, who I just that, talked to, by the way. That's when she told me X Y Z was pregnant. Yeah. So I was just like, I wonder. I was like, yeah, it must. Continue that, on like, 76 have to be that. So I knew we were going to have an argument when I got home. <laughs> you were going to have a So I got there. I tried to be calm. I was just like, listen, I need you to take this before we even have any conversation. Let, let me, let me clarify. It wasn't like, no, I this. I was on the couch, sprawled up, ready to land base him, quarreling, and he threw it at me. <laughs> He's like, take this. And I, I was like, what's this, Alan? And this time, Alan bring off this like offshore, no name brand, Pricey control. Yeah, I'm it was saying before price. Irma was the only place I could have stopped. Oh, where okay. I don't have to be in there for half an hour just to buy a pregnancy test. But the point is, it costs four ninety nine. So I'm like, if you want to figure out if I'm pregnant, I'm, for one, I was in my thinking, why would I be pregnant? Like, I'm, I'm not pregnant. I'm just, I'm sick. <laughs> so I go in, take um, take it, and I don't know if any one of you have ever taken a pregnancy test before. The first line came up, and then. The second line came up. The first line means you're not pregnant if it comes up. If it's blurred or two lines, you're pregnant. So I was like, why are two lines up? I was like, Alan, wait, two lines up. And then I, I don't think your reaction was very, you were like, oh, okay. I was like, why is this, why is this not like a big deal to you? You were just very nonchalant about it. I was nonchalant, I was happy. Yeah, so I reached for a hug. I was on the floor. I remember my back was hurting me. Oh yeah, your back was hurting. I remember that for real. But in the moment, I I was more like confused. Like, what is this? I didn't believe it. And like I said, because it was like an offshore four ninety nine pregnancy test, I was like, I'm not gonna just go by this. So in the morning, this is I think the day before Earl was supposed to come. We went and bought two expensive ass pregnancy tests. I mean, it came out to like fifty dollars or forty something dollars. Just two of them. So when I'm at home, took both, and I still have the picture saved. I'll put it right here somewhere. Both said, one said pregnant, and one said yes, or with a tick or a plus sign or something like that. So I was like, wait. I guess. I guess I am. I don't know. I didn't. I just didn't really settle it. Remember after Irma, I made the appointment to go get confirmation. Um, I'm here thinking I would either have to do some sort of blood work or uh, ultrasound. So given that this video gets up, this is going to be our first official. Well, oh, you want me to talk? Yes. <laughs> first ultrasound. Exciting. Kind of nervous. 
kind of anxious. There's a bit nervous. Kind of like what's going on. Mm. Kind of what? Kind of like what's going on in there. Oh. First of all, when I go in, um, they're saying that I can't get ultrasound because since I would be in very one, early, under one, six one, weeks or under eight weeks. So you can't get regular ultrasound. Right. Right. Ultrasound. right. right. And the, there's one is a vaginal. There's a word for it. I can't remember. I'll put it in here too. But it goes up. Yeah. Hoo-ha. And like, does it scan? <laughs> Just so I remember I was in there right next to me. I was like, I was kind of nervous, and I was more so nervous because the size of this thing was like a forearm. <laughs> but it was uncomfortable. It's not uncomfortable or anything like all because they put like sorry to get graphic, but lube, but and it doesn't go all the way up instead. It just felt like a like a tampon. So. Even before anything came on the screen, I think she was just making friendly conversa conversation and she was like, yeah, something's definitely in there. <laughs> we were like, okay, how would you even know that? And then a couple of seconds later, we saw, we saw baby bear, we saw cub. Um, and it was very, it was very surreal. I didn't cry or anything, but I was like, oh my gosh, there's actually like life inside of me. I, I remember looking at you and we're just like, <laughs> looking at the screen all like kind of like amazing and all kind of thing. To summarize all of this, it was um, basically why we were in Philadelphia. So obviously, it wasn't it wasn't in our plans to be here. Originally, when Alan fell and he got this job, I would be commuting back and forth between Miami to visit him and in Philadelphia. But we, of course, want to raise a child together. That just seems like the best option. And this is the only option. The only option, yeah. When you found out, Ali, how you really like, felt and stuff. I kind of had like a little head start on it to you because I suspected you Turn right on to Pennsylvania. So by the time you took it, I can't. I expected it to me. Um, cause if I was thinking about it, I was just like, yo, this ain't the bad thing. Like this ain't the worst thing in the world. I'm like I get in a bro, I as far as a good job now. Like a, jo a job I can definitely sustain a family off of. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it wasn't the best time. It wasn't like nothing wasn't like settled or anything yet mm -hmm. at that point. I don't think. I don't even think I'd heard when my start date would have been yet. Right. Rough timing, but I was happy overall. I right. was a lot happier than I. I wasn't up, upset is not a word, but I was very overwhelmed with everything. It was a lot, a lot to think about, and the timing. Like I said, I was like I had, <laughs> you know, he's got a plan, and then life would just be like, now we can do something else. Fuck your plan. Fuck your plan. So we can do something else. So it was just thinking about that it was thinking about moving to a different state and not having anyone here i have no family here i don't have any family in miami anyways yes. but imagine doing that with a child a baby something i'm new to i've never been pregnant before i never had first time mother before you know but alan has um <laughs> aunt here and i guess some extended family would say so initially i was very overwhelmed and i had a lot of anxiety and stuff but after i told my parents um my close friends everyone was so supportive everyone reassured me you know they would have been there for me they could possibly be and then alan was alan's a great guy um so that taste coming out here we're all bitter so yeah here we are i'm not showing it so you can't see anything i think oh show my poems just now i'm not i'm not really showing if you like look at me you feel like you can see a little something but it's not much and i don't know why i thought i'll be showing a lot earlier because i'm so tiny but and it's stiff I don't know if it's stiff. What do you mean stiff? It's stiff. I feel like you're clenching your abs. You, you want it to be off? That's probably. Like it's stiff. I, like I know there's something definitely going on. Mile, we're yeah, like your actual stomach. <laughs> so our next appointment is tomorrow. This will be my, my first OBGYN in Philadelphia. I did a lot of research and came down to the two best ones because I feel as though if I can keep a doctor and someone's delivering our child, I always want to be comfortable with them. So tomorrow we'll see. Do you want a boy or girl? I know you want, but tell, people, that, tell yeah. people what you want. It doesn't matter to me. I want a healthy baby. You want a healthy baby. In my heart, I would love a girl. I just want to dress her up and have a princess. But healthy baby is our priority. We'll be blessed whatever God decides to give us. So we're just going to explore Delaware today. Um, see what the area looks like. Um, and then do a little shopping at the mall. Because I've been good, right? to stay here um, until we decide where exactly we 
we can go. Yeah, and like I said, I am in an occupation, or I was in an occupation for the um, that. It was very body reliant on how it looked, so I'm gonna have to readjust earnings for so a while. Watch these so please, please watch these videos. Please watch these videos. Please support Baby Bear. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but I always enjoy vlogging. I'm sorry for the absence. I know I've been gone for it has at least been a month since the last time I uploaded, but I've had a lot. If you want, I had a lot going on. Honestly, it was it was a very trying time. The first. Um, it wasn't semester. trying, all you did was sleep And be sick, I didn't feel well Yeah, okay Yeah, I was so not well you, But all you did was sleep and feel sick <laughs> And feel and sick And that's not a training time <laughs> Alright, let's just say 24 hours in a day You slept, slept easily 18 each day I need to have more of an engagement um, But I don't know if maybe Le Show wanted to respond as well uh, I'm gonna ask you to in, in, Yeah, but go ahead when y'all get pregnant, or if y'all get pregnant, or know anybody get pregnant, ask them how tired it's feel. It's not even like, if I had to be out, I would try to be awake. We went to Jamaica for, <laughs> for a little bit. We fall asleep on concrete. I fall asleep on the floor. Like, not the floor, but... A concrete slab. A, concrete a construction slab. concrete slab. Alan's dad was doing work, and I was just like, I feel very exhausted. I just... It's a very, very, I, I cannot explain pregnancy fatigue, it's unreal. And then I also had like the nauseous thing, I wasn't throwing up, but my stomach just felt You only threw it once, yeah? Only threw it once, yeah. So far the symptoms I have is, like I said, nauseous. I haven't been as tired as my first, I would say, six to eight weeks. Um, but I am breaking out a lot, like on my back area. And anything else wrong me? I don't think so, I think. Oh, I'm very... Sorry if it's TMI, eerie, gassy, and burping all the time. Burping, 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 burping. I can't stop burping. And I get really bad air like in my chest that sticks. So I have to drink a, like, a lot of teas and stuff. And I'm always out of breath. I will go up the stairs and I'm like, <laughs> tell them what happened the other day. <laughs> Which one? Um, I was on the phone oh, with you or something. Oh, you were on the phone. Yo, this girl walk up and that's where she just competed in a triathlon, yo. <laughs> <laughs> like, and then she was weak. She done, she recovered from that. We're just on the phone talking and then she out her breath again. I was like, what are you doing? She's like, like, I'm like. just lying here. <laughs> and you know when I knew it was bad? Because Alan has really bad asthma. So on a whole, he just breathes a whole lot faster than me. As if we were sleeping. And last night, I was just comparing how we were breathing. And I was taking three for your one. Shh. Yeah, I was like. And you're like, I'm like, I got these stronger lungs. So I can't breathe probably. <laughs> I can't breathe. I can put this in one of the um, pregnancy videos because I was just talking and now I feel like so out of breath. I gotta stop for a second. Pregnancy definitely has a, a big effect on body and I guess it varies by people because Alan's mom was telling me that she was good. My mom was fine, she didn't have any problems. So I guess it just depends on the person. Bye! So today I have my next appointment for hopefully my ultrasound. I'm not really showing like that. I'm just sort of bloated and I'll show you.